This video is sponsored by Coding Dojo. Coding boot camps have grown in popularity over the years, promising to turn aspiring developers into engineers in a matter of three to six months. But the question then is, in 2023, are coding boot camps still worth it? Let's answer that in this video. Now, I actually had the privilege of interviewing two coding bootcamp graduates. One is Paula, who is actually a data analyst in the tech industry today. And the second person is Mandy, who actually works in a big four financial company. By the way, if you want to watch the full interviews with two of these individuals, I'll put the link in the description to my podcast below. You can check it out. Anyway, let's get into the video. So obviously, when you meet with two coding bootcamp graduates, the first question I want to ask them is, why did they join a coding bootcamp in the first place? I just was was in there. I was working, and just in the middle of my shift, I just was like, I don't think I can do this the rest of my life. I just kind of had like a moment where I was like, man, like I'm already, I, like my wrists are already hurting. Like my, you know, I already feel the sands of time ticking away here. Uh, I can't imagine. So there's no better time than now. That's essentially what I thought. There's no better time than now. Like, let's just get into it. I think we've all been there, right? Where some point in our life, we tell ourselves, I can't take this no more. I need something different. I need something better. Like this can't be my life for the rest of my life. And when there are people who face these decisions, at this time, there are two types of people. A person who either accepts this is my life for the rest of my life and I'll accept it. Or number two, I'm not gonna let this be me. I need to make changes now. And that person was Mandy. Paula's answer was a little different. If you go online or if you go like on LinkedIn or if you go on YouTube, I don't know, and you start reading what people say that what you need to become a data analyst or a data scientist, you, you can go crazy. Like there's so much stuff out there and people say this is better, that is better. You should learn this first. You should learn that first. So some of my friends that I had two friends that went to boot camps and they were like, that's why you should go to a boot camp because they are going to put that into a curriculum. They are going to put that in an order that makes sense. And you're going to learn, you're going to, you know, building blocks. You're going to learn in the order that you should, or that at least is going to be easier for you. What's interesting about Paul's answer is that she tried the self-taught route. She tried following advice all over LinkedIn. She tried following the advice from people on YouTube. But the problem is, Everyone has different advice. Everyone has different suggestions. There's so many different programming languages out there, libraries. And that's exactly the problem that Paula actually faced, which is hence why she ended up doing a coding bootcamp in the first place, which makes total sense. And I, and I recommend this to a lot of people. I, and, I, and I tell people all the time that the self-taught route is very difficult. The self-taught route is not easy, it's not easy whatsoever, right? If I didn't get a job in three to six months, and I was fortunate that I did, I probably would have given up. Learning how to code on yourself is very difficult. It doesn't only take discipline, but you need to be guided in the right direction, which a lot of people don't have. And I think that's why a lot of people end up giving up before even getting in the tech industry. Before we dive back into a chat with Paula and Mandy, I want to give a huge thanks to Coding Dojo for sponsoring this video. At Coding Dojo, they've pioneered a unique approach emphasizing independent learning. Sure, no bootcamp can teach you everything, but what makes Coding Dojo stand out is how their curriculum prepares you with the crucial soft skills. And get this, they've just introduced a brand new module to their part-time data science program. We're talking about a deep dive into data visualization and machine learning. So shout out to Coding Dojo for not just keeping up with tech, but leading the way. Let's get back to it. Next, I wanted to know what were some realities versus expectations when it came to coding bootcamp? I think I had high expectations. I, I expected to be ready, right? I expected that once I was done with the bootcamp, I'll know everything I needed to get a job. And not that I upset or sad about the results, it's just that I, I had to change my mindset during the bootcamp to understand that that was part of my path and not the whole thing. I honestly loved hearing this mindset from Paula where she said that she can't be upset with results. She has to understand that this is the path that she's chosen to take and she has to take to get into tech. And she understood that it's not going to be easy. And I think a lot of people underestimate how difficult a coding bootcamp is, or if not, 
learning code in general. When you go to a coding bootcamp, you need to learn in three to six months what usually takes a four year degree college student to learn in four years. That's not easy. So of course, it's going to be extremely difficult and intense. And I think this is what everyone needs to prepare themselves for before learning how to code in general. And so this is kind of what Mandy did. So what Mandy did is that she helped convince herself on why she needed to go to a coding bootcamp rather than sticking to the self-taught routes or going back to a school and getting a computer science degree. No, I, I am pretty disciplined, but I also like to have access to people who have more experience because if you do self-taught, you can watch a million YouTube videos, but if you just aren't figuring it out, it's really nice to have access to somebody who has done this a million times and can explain it a different way and can work with you hands-on. That's the part I liked. I liked that they can jump into a Zoom room with you and help you through your issues yourself. The next thing I wanted to learn was, does a coding bootcamp actually teach you everything you need to know to get a job in the tech industry? And the reason I wanted to know this is because I have relatives who got their computer science degree, who went to four-year college, who walked across that stage, who has that piece of paper, but even then they couldn't get a job. Like I went to college for chemistry and yeah, I, I after four years, I was like, I don't know anything, you know, and with the bootcamp it was the same feeling. Like I got out and I was like, I know a lot of things, but I'm far from knowing everything I need yes. to get a job. Very far from me. Yeah, totally. I, I just got this job. And like I said, they are like, oh, we don't use Tableau. That, that's what we had a little bit yeah, during Tableau. the bootcamp. Mm -hmm. We don't use Python for visualization. We use Power BI. I was like, okay, so now I'm going to learn Power BI. So Paula clearly shared that at her current job as a data analyst, as she got her foot in the door in tech, she herself shared that what she learned in the coding bootcamp isn't what she's actually using in her field right now, where she learned Tableau in, in the coding bootcamp, which is a uh, uh, data visualization tool, but she had to use and learn a new tool called Power BI, right? Or let's say you use React JavaScript in your coding bootcamp, and then you need to use Angular at your job for some reason, right? So I think it's really important to understand that everything you learn in coding bootcamp won't be everything that you actually end up using when you graduate, where even after you graduate, you still need to continue learning after you graduate to make sure you can get that first job. And let's go listen to what Mandy has to say. I'll just say walk, watching other people, you can do the bare minimum. You can do what it takes just to get through the boot camp. But I guarantee you're not going to be prepared. You're not going to be prepared. You need to take it to the next level. You need to do the extra reading. Like you, you have to, you get, I know it's so cliche, but you do get what you put in. If you're not putting in the extra effort, then best of luck. That's all I'm going to say. You get what you put in. <laughs> yes, a, a coding bootcamp is great. A college degree is great, but you only get what you put in. If you put in X amount of work, a company will see this is the X amount of value that we can get from them if we give them a $150,000 salary. But if you don't put X amount of work, then you only receive X amount of pay or people will see you only can give them X amount of value. I can't emphasize the importance of putting in the work and not just the bare minimum. Don't put the bare minimum, go above and beyond. When I got my first tech job for one year, I stayed up coding till 3 a.m. and also making videos for YouTube but learning every single day, all day, after work, during my lunch break, continuously learning code, even during the job, after the job, whenever I could get the chance to learn because I knew that that first job wasn't where I wanted to stay. That first job is a stepping stone to get to the next spot, to the next place, to the next pay increase, right? Now, coding boot camps are not cheap. They are extremely expensive. They can be very expensive. Per coursereport.com, coding boot camps can average anywhere between $5,000 to $20,000. It is a very big investment. So then after talking about how expensive coding bootcamps are and etc., I asked both Mandy and Paula that if they had to start over again, 2023, would they go to a coding bootcamp again in order to get their foot in the door in the tech industry? Would you do it again? Yeah, I would wow, do it again, okay. especially because the reason I have my job today is because one of the TAs got me this job. So I created that, what? like I said, it's like built-in networking. Like I, I did my above and beyond. I, I developed a relationship naturally. I didn't have to go on LinkedIn and stalk somebody and say, hey, I see you're doing X, Y, Z. I want to do X, Y, Z. I didn't have to do any of that. I naturally made a relationship. 
she saw me struggling. She was like, why aren't you employed yet? And she said, let me pull some strings. Let me see what I can do. And honestly, that's that's more beneficial than I feel like anything. It's developing those relationships and even your fellow cohort mate. So maybe one of them gets a job first. They see an opening on their team. They say, hey buddy, are you still working for a job? Like, let me see what I can do. Let me get you in. They, If they hired that guy, right? Then they're obviously fine with boot camps. They're fine. So there you go. You you just continue on the chain of helping each other. Yeah, and that, we need more of that. Now, Paula's answer to this question was very interesting. Check this out. I feel like I my only regret is not have done it earlier. I Ooh. wish I had. Yeah, yeah. I, I I wish I had done this four or five years ago. Paula's answer is that she regrets not going to a coding boot camp sooner, and I think we all face this. Right. For a lot of us who went into tech, please let me know in the comment section below if you're, if, if you're one of them. I think when we go into tech, when we realize we are more than qualified to get the job done, that we are smarter than we realize, that yes, it's hard, but it's not as hard as we actually thought, then we tell ourselves, why did it take so long to do this? Why did it take me so long to get the courage to start learning how to code and start applying, putting myself out there, trying to get that job? Why did that take so long? Because tech is so life changing. I would not change a thing about my career. So are coding boot camps worth it in 2023? I'd say 100 million percent. Yes, but the choice is ultimately up to you. Do you want to do a four-year college or three to six-month coding boot camp or self-taught? Choice is up to you.